There's a number of market makers that right now are on the very brink of liquidation. Over the next few days, they're going to be listing two separate scam Chinese IPOs on the exact same day to try and generate additional liquidity to avoid that dreaded margin call. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And I want to dive straight in with key information. So I want to start by talking about how these market makers got to this position in the first place. If we take a look at this chart for the Dow Jones Industrial Index, we can see it's just about to set new lows. The Dow Jones isn't just the S&P 500's largest 500 companies, it's the entire American stock market all combined together. So we can see the US stock market is just about to break past those previous May lows and create new lows. And that means right now, many of these institutions, many of these hedge funds, and many of these market makers are spread very thinly on their available margin at a time when these margin requirements have just been increased. The available liquidity or cash on hand for many of these major banks and many of these major market makers is just about to set a new low when the required amount of collateral has just increased. That means they're going to be closer than ever to this dreaded margin call and to this dreaded liquidation and therefore they need to create not one but two scam Chinese IPOs to try and generate additional liquidity to meet these collateral requirements. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've seen many of these individual scam companies being listed week by week, but we've never seen two listed on one day. Over the last few weeks, we've seen HKD, we've seen MEGL, we've seen GCT, and we've seen ATXG as well. First up on the list is LICN or Lichen China Limited, set to be listed on the NASDAQ on the 23rd of September 2022, aka tomorrow. Lichen China Limited or Legend China LTD is a financial and taxation solution service and educational support provider in the People's Republic of China. And number two on that list is WXT or Wuxin Technology Holdings, again also set to go live on the 23rd of September 2022, aka tomorrow. And Wuxin Technology Holdings, which is located in China, is a holding company engaged in publishing software publisher. Not that that actually makes sense. So it seems that right now we've got two separate Chinese companies that nobody has ever heard of set to be listed on the stock exchange tomorrow, which are likely going to be pumped to generate additional liquidity for these desperate market makers. This obviously comes a day after the FOMC meeting, just as interest rates have again been raised, and the Dow Jones and potentially the S&P 500 is set to set new lows over the next few days. Now I do want to tell you, but I do also want to warn you that you can make money by buying these scam Chinese companies and selling them during the pump. But there's a few things you need to watch out for. Now the first thing you need to watch out for is the opening price. WXT is expected to open around $4.50 to $6.50. LICN on the other hand is expected to open at exactly $4.00. Now, because these are very likely scam Chinese IPO companies, it's very likely they will open at a price higher than $4 to $6.50. I expect them to open somewhere around $14 to $20. Now, if you can buy these stocks around $14 to $20, maybe they fall for a few hours straight after being listed, say to around $5 to $10, but then they're likely to pump to say $50, $100, $200, or even $500 per share. Now, if these stocks open up for trading tomorrow morning straight away at $100 or $200 per share, it's likely the pump has already happened and I would not be buying these shares at $200 per share. Now, therefore, it's very important to pay attention to exactly what price they do open at and not to be swayed by the insane percentage gains. The percentage gain on the day will be calculated based on its current price compared to $4 to $6.50. Therefore, even if it opens at $200, it will show a gain of 5,000% or 10,000%, but it's only opened at $200 and it's likely to fall significantly after that. But obviously, if it does open at $10 to $15 or it does open at $20 and falls to $10, it's likely the pump hasn't happened and it will happen later during the day or later on this week or next week. Now, obviously, I'm not encouraging you to sell your AMC shares or sell your Ape shares or sell your GameStop shares. But if you do have spare cash laid aside, you could use these scam Chinese IPOs to generate additional cash to buy more AMC, Ape or GameStop. But at the same time, I also think it's important to remember that when you are buying these scam Chinese IPOs, you're effectively helping these market makers and major institutions generate additional liquidity. Therefore, it's a bit of a catch-22 because even though you're making more money to buy more AMC shares, you're effectively helping these market makers by generating them additional liquidity and helping them to meet their margin requirements. 
I've also just realized that Moomoo is one of the only trading platforms that doesn't have deep ties and deep connections with Citadel. Moomoo isn't owned by Citadel, they're not majority owned by BlackRock, they don't accept payment for order flow, nor do they root through Apex Clearing, and therefore they're not at the mercy of Citadel, they don't have ex-Citadel employees sat on their board controlling the company, and they don't have ties with the mainstream media. And right now, Moomoo is currently giving away 15 free shares worth up to a whopping $30,000. All you have to do is sign up to Moomoo using the link in the description below. Now, obviously, I've touched on HKD and many of these other Chinese scam pump companies on the channel before. As Jan Jack tweeted, he said the other day, Citadel and the cash-strapped and near-bankrupt short sellers were again trying to set a trap on HKD, but it didn't work. Now, a few weeks ago, HKD was pumped to over $2,500 per share, setting the market capitalization at one point to nearly a trillion dollars in additional liquidity for these market makers. Now, obviously, over the last few days, over the last week, they again tried to pump HKD, but they could only get it to around $300 or $350 before it started falling. Obviously, many of these other hedge funds, many of these retail investors have already cottoned on to their HKD play and were watching it with keen eyes, ready to shore. Therefore, they're having to create two more individual scam Chinese pump companies to try and generate additional liquidity, and hopefully these hedge fund managers and us retail investors won't catch on. Now, the reason why Citadel and many of these market makers and many of these major banks are creating these scam Chinese companies is to pump these companies at critical times when they would otherwise get margin called or liquidated by their underwater short positions in BBBY, in GameStop, in AMC and in many other stocks. Even though these market makers and short hedge funds are holding underwater short positions in many of these meme stocks, they're still overly long on the market which is obviously crashing. As the overall market is crashing, they're getting closer and closer to being liquidated, and as their required collateral has just increased, they're now closer than ever to that liquidation. And therefore, at critical times when AMC, when Ape, when GameStop are all pumping, or when the wider market is falling, and they're very, very close to that margin call and that liquidation, they then pump these scam Chinese companies. That then obviously generates up to a trillion dollars in additional liquidity so they can temporarily avoid these margin calls for another day or for another few days. But this time around, I'm already one step ahead and I already know the next upcoming scam Chinese pump companies is LICN and it's also WXT. And as 741 Trade tweeted, it seems even the Options Clearing Corporation is trying to escape the blame and clear their name. He said the Options Clearing Corporation has recently proposed a revised risk management framework and new corporate risk management policies to replace their current framework and policies in its entirety. Therefore, when this all comes crashing down on many of these market makers and many of these major institutions and major banks end up being liquidated, the Fed is going to look for somewhere to point the finger. But the Options Clearing Corporation is going to put their hands up and say, guys, we told everyone they were way too over-risked. We even changed our policies. So it's definitely not our fault. The Options Clearing Corporation is now telling people they're so heavily over-leveraged and so heavily over-risked. And they've even changed their policies to try and encourage people to try and encourage these institutions to take less risk. Now, obviously, you and I know that it's too little, too late, but at least this way, they're going to try and pass the blame and make sure they don't receive the blame and tarnish their name. And it seems even the plunge protection team is trying to intervene and to try and save these market makers and major banks and major institutions. As Uber Ape tweeted, he said the VIX was halted today and it was suppressed back down. And he asked, has this ever happened? Now, obviously, the answer to that question is yes. The VIX is set to include circuit breaker halts to also halt when the volatility gets too much. We could see yesterday during the FOMC meeting, the VIX spiked from 26.62 points all the way up to 30 points and then was halted for five consecutive minutes before being shorted back down. Now, the VIX obviously measures market volatility, and when the VIX is spiking, it's usually because the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones are absolutely tanking and absolutely crashing. So therefore, when the VIX is shorted back down, that's basically because the plunge protection team is going along on the overall market, trying to save those market participants. But again, it just goes to show this corruption isn't just limited to AMC, Ape and GameStop. It even stretches as far as the wider market, as the plunge protection team is trying to save these market makers, just like Citadel. But as Unusual Wells tweeted, he said Guggenheim, Scott Minerd has said that the Fed raising rates will end in tears for stock investors and for these institutions. And the Wall Street Journal article says that markets are now bracing for a hard landing as the Fed delivers a sobering message. 
It says this time markets understood quite clearly what the Federal Reserve meant. Inflation is too high and it will likely take a recession to get it back down. Obviously, the Fed raised rates by another 75 basis points or 0.75 percentage points, and they're now projecting rates reaching 4.6% in up to a year's time. They're also not expecting inflation to fall to around 2% until 2025, but they are expecting rate cuts next year or the year after, obviously as a result of a recession. And on top of that, Jerome Powell said yesterday that I wish there was a painless way to reduce inflation, but there isn't. And he also said nobody knows whether this process will lead to a recession or, if so, how significant that recession would be. And he also said the chances of a soft landing are likely to diminish to the extent that policy needs to be more restrictive or restrictive for longer. AKA basically saying if they need to hike interest rates anymore, it will result in a recession and it will result in a heavier stock market crash. Therefore, Jerome Powell is basically saying not even the plunge protection team nor the Fed can protect the wider market and nor can they protect these market makers from being liquidated. Obviously, if a recession does ensue and the market does continue to crash like it did back in 2008, not even the plunge protection team can save Citadel. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.